Good morning. Today, November 11th, Veterans Day, we come together as a school to thank and honor all veterans for their service to our country. Now, if everyone will please stand for the singing of America the Beautiful by PHS senior Brianna Santiago Kane, and continue to stand as we pledge our allegiance to the United States of America, led by PHS alumni and veteran Samuel Prater. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green, for purple mountain majesties, above the fronted plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet, who stood in passion's stress through thoroughfare for freedom beat across the wilderness? America, America, God mend thy every flaw, confirm thy soul in self control, thy liberty. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, we celebrate, thank, and honor all veterans for their service to our country. America has always held a sacred trust for those who defend her. From the warriors who fought the guerrillas in the jungles of Vietnam, to the brave men and women returning home from Iraq and Afghanistan, our veterans share a legacy of service that crosses generational lines and uphold the value upon which our nation was founded, service to a cause greater than self. For this, they deserve the respect and gratitude of our nation. There are over 24 million veterans living among us, in every state and territory, and from every walk of life. It is quite possible that many of you have a mother, father, cousin, or other relative who has or is serving our country. These honorable men and women have given their sweat, blood, and sometimes their lives in order to defend the liberty and freedom that this nation gives us. It is because of these brave souls we are able to practice whatever religion we choose, speak our minds on controversial topics, and pursue our dreams and goals without fear of punishment or incarceration. Freedom and opportunities that many other countries around the world aren't offered. The amazing sacrifice that these men and women have had to undertake are hard to imagine. Leaving behind wives and husbands, children both born and unborn, Amazing jobs or educational opportunities, all to serve our country. It is because of this service and sacrifice we honor and celebrate them today. Let us then, as a grateful nation, hold them in the highest regard as we celebrate all that they have done and continue to do for our amazing country. Now, it is my honor to introduce one of our veterans who served our country in the Army. My dad, Roy Rogers. <laughs> How many years did you serve in the Army? Well, I did a combination of National Guard and active duty. So about four years in the National Guard and then uh, a little over 15 years active duty. What made you join the Army then? Um, it, probably just like every little boy that grew up around here, they love guns. They love the idea of putting camouflage on and uh, I just was interested in it. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try in the National Guard and see if I liked it, and then uh, ended up enjoying it. All right. So how many times were you deployed, and then to what locations were they? I was deployed for three uh, combat tours. Uh, I did two in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. The first one in Iraq was OIF, 
The second one was OIF 0507. And then my final deployment was to Afghanistan, which was OEF uh, 12. What were your favorite things about the Army? Um, probably uh, the thing I liked most about the Army, or my experience in the Army, uh, was the the chance to travel. Like I've been to uh, a lot of places. Uh, I guess the chance to travel and to be an ambassador of America. Because um, I've, I've been to Paris, France, Frankfurt, Germany, uh, Shannon, Ireland, Budapest, Turkey, Qatar, of course, Iraq and Afghanistan, Kuwait, uh, Korea, uh, been to Indonesia, North Pole, uh, several places. And in each place that I visited, it was an honor to be there and it was an honor to represent my country uh, and try to be the best ambassador I could be in those different locations. What rank were you in the Army? I was a lot of different ranks in the Army. Um, I actually started out as a private, uh, made my way up to uh, NCO, squad leader, and then I switched over to the officer ranks. Uh, the ranks that I had as an officer was uh, second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain, and a major. A major is what I retired at. My last question for you was what was your most memorable moment when you were serving in the Army? Most memorable moment? It probably would be um, uh, probably the entire thing. Uh, my answer would be camaraderie. The camaraderie with the, uh, the soldiers that I had around me, um, getting to know them um, and just being there for your battle buddy. Um, there's nothing like it. It's, it's kind of like a team sport. And, and I got to experience that for many years, and I feel blessed for that. Thank you for coming and sharing. And I'd also like to thank you for serving our country with pride and honor. Thank you for having me today.